Oh, my fellow mistake. Sick up here at your service. For those who are new, I'm also at your service as well. So today we are doing work on a Les Paul style guitar. Here we have my guitar coupe. And we are just changing strings as well as other maintenance things on it. So let's get right into it. First thing I am going to need, or you're going to need if you're doing this with me, is a string winder so you can unwind the strings. So I hope everybody's doing good. As we speak, or is doing the best they can. Anyways, since we got the strings off finally, what we're going to need to do as I wrap this up is make sure everything is tightened and snug as we can make it. So, which include the pickup rings. might be able to tell some of it does need to be tightened <laughs> also the I also like to do the pick guard to make sure everything it's good to go there. Now what I'm also going to do is I'm also going to take off the knobs and make sure that I don't know how you can see it. Make sure that these little rings are not going anywhere. So I need to bring this wrench to size. Alright, that one needed a little bit of tightening, not too bad. That one did too. <clears throat> that one as well. Next up is the headstock. Let me just move you out right here. battery so what I do for the headstock what I do this I do the same thing for the headstock just take this little wrench here readjust it though do that make sure these are all tightened go. I also turn this aside right like this. 
and make sure those side screws, I don't know how I can see them, are also tied up, or tightened up I should say, as well. Good, 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 that's tight, now let's do the back. So take screwdriver and make sure these back screws are in there relatively tight, not too tight, don't strip them. Then I go to the body again. Make sure the these are in very well. The back covers. Also do the same thing for the output jack as well. Don't need that coming out. As well as the uh, where is it? was this part as well that little bolt thing okay now what we're going to do is now that everything is tight uh, just the way we like it except for that of course We are going to clean the guitar off. Now this isn't exactly a glossy guitar, nor is it shiny in any way, but we are going to clean it off anyways. Just a little bit. So what I usually do is I use... That's not it. Gibson guitar polish, even though this is not a Gibson, but it still works in my opinion the best. Spray a little bit on the cloth, kind of, like I said, since this isn't really a too shiny of a guitar, it doesn't need all too much. Kind of clean off the pickups a little bit. go and what I'm also going to do what I also got to do now you might want to do this as well if you're doing this is I forgot to get this out how stupid of me is if I can find it folks painters tape cover up the pickups I 
reason why I like to use painter's tape is because it doesn't really mark up very well. It doesn't leave marks when removing. Plus it, it does remove easier. There we go. Now what we're going to do is take, I like to use steel wool, but you can use a lot of different things is clean up the fret aboard like so up and down the fret board across the fret wire technically you should do the frets first before you spray down the guitar but I did it backwards oh wow I'm not perfect set up and down the fretboard across the fret wire Doesn't matter if you go up and down the fret wire. It's just how I like to do it. And wipe it off with a different rag. Where did I put that rag? Here it is with a different rag than what you used for your guitar body. Now, what we use is what I use anyway, it's Diderio lemon oil. done this in a couple of years for this one uh, now I usually would have paper towels but again you don't have to use paper towels I use the same rag just a different side I just kind of lightly wipe off now, this is where you would usually would clean off the body. But like I said, this one isn't exactly a shiny one. It's a satin finish. Okay, while well, we are kind of letting that do its duty. Let's get out the strings. Today's strings are... Diderio. Now what you would want to do now take off the tape Throw that in the garbage. Now we take our stop bar bridge and we, that's yeah, just the usual thing, you know.
stretch out the string I like to do beforehand usually to do as well is stretch them after you get them on the string um, bridge one or two at a time that's how I usually do it as well start with the A um, E and A the G and B take the saddle on the end then the B and E okay now this is kind of where it can get tricky especially if uh well you'll see sometimes i know what this happens to me usually if i put on the low e or high e string sometimes it will go up or down i mean you pretty much catch my drift especially getting while well, getting the other strings on so i usually like to start with the middle strings like the d and g now this is kind of important as well I, uh put them on just is leave a little bit of slack not too much because you want to get the wraps about two to four wraps well not four but two to three wraps Per string at least that's how I like to do it you want to go from you don't want the wraps over wrapping either so what this is what I'll do is I will take it between my hand and pointer and middle or not middle but thumb I don't know why I flipped up there and uh, voila now some people like to wrap it up some people like to wrap it down me I'm one of those people that don't care as long as it doesn't slip so sometimes I'll wrap it up sometimes I'll wrap it down I don't think there's much of a difference if any difference at all on how you do that but feel free to correct me if I'm wrong okay now that we've got all the strings on another thing to do real quick is I like to keep doing this because it helps keep this is stretch out the strings one last time like so And last thing to do is tune it up I am going to use a tuning app on my phone called guitar tuna because I like that app I do recommend it now 
Now to kind of play it in. And check it again. So that's pretty much in tune. So I've got two more things to do. One of them is to snip, snip, snip these off. Now I like to try to leave a little extra, not too much. That way it won't, hopefully won't rip my guitar gig bag. inside of it because guitars can do that that way I can bend them down and last but not least I'm going to use a little bit of finger ease to clean up the strings a little bit more since my hands were on it voila and use that yellow rag wherever that went to to finish polishing it off to finish cleaning it and yeah so, I hope you enjoyed this video, and until next time, stay tuned up and keep it rocking.